Today I want to talk about a picture that I admire a lot. The person in the picture is Kobo Abi, who is cooking gyoza, a dish somewhat similar to Chinese wontons. This is gyoza. Kobo Abe was a Japanese writer, playwright, musician, photographer and inventor. He was famous for his surrealist fictional works of which I've read none. He is often compared to Franz Kafka. It seems that he had a very interesting childhood. He loved literature, mathematics and insect collection. He grew up in Manchuria and came to study medicine in Tokyo Imperial University in 1943 partly because his father was a doctor and medical professionals didn't need to serve in the military. He made a right choice. All his friends who took humanities had to join the military. All of them died while serving the emperor. Unlike my friends who took up humanities just to party and died because of liver cirrhosis or rash driving due to excessive alcohol. In 1945 Abe married Maki Yamada, an artist and stage director, and the couple saw successes within their fields in similar time frames. Initially, they lived in an old barracks within a bombed-out area of the city center. Abe sold pickles and charcoal on the street to pay their bills. The couple joined a number of artistic study groups, such as Yori no Ke, Group of the Night or the Night Society, and Nihon Bungaku Gako, Japanese Literary School. Go and read the Wikipedia page because this is taking a hell lot of time and I have to submit my assignment today. So we were supposed to talk about the reason behind my admiration for this photograph. Dear lads and lasses, emotions are not so easy to convey. After all, one may be tempted to conclude from the overview of emotion theories across disciplines that the field is deeply divided on just about everything. This would be hasty. Despite the great diversity of views on the nature and function of emotions we have documented, a broad consensus has emerged on a number of topics. Here is a tentative list of what a plurality of emotion theorists agree about, with brief mention of where the disagreements begin. Emotion episodes involve at least in prototypical cases, a set of evaluative, physiological, phenomenological, expressive, behavioral, and mental components that are diagnostic of emotions and are to some degree correlated with one another. The degree to which these correlations are instantiated continues to be a central topic of theoretical debate. Latent variable models assume that emotions cause the changes in components and expect to find strong correlations. Whereas emergent variable models assume that emotions emerge from changes in components caused by something other than emotions and expect to find weak correlations. Token episodes of the same folk emotion type, for example, anger, fear, shame, manifest a great deal of variability with respect to expressive, behavioral, physiological and phenomenological features, as well as intensity, duration, valence, arousal type and range of intentional objects. Researchers disagree on whether underlying all this variability there exist measurable bodily patterns of some kind that are still distinctive of different emotions. Emotions have intentionality or the ability to represent. Researchers disagree on whether emotions represent descriptively or imperatively or both, on what exact contents they represent, and on what grounds the emotion world representation relation. A small minority of researchers, tailing mostly from the inactivist movement, have argued that emotions lack representational qualities. The physical seat of emotions is the brain, but there are no neural circuits that correspond one-to-one -one with any folk emotion type, and brains are embodied and embedded in environments that are essential to their proper functioning. Researchers disagree on how exactly the brain implements tokens of different emotion types, and whether emotional phenomena are best understood in terms of emotion-specific or emotion-unspecific neural mechanisms. Emotions typically involve conscious experiences, but such experiences are not strictly necessary for an emotion to be instantiated, in part because some emotion terms refer to dispositions and in part because most theorists consider feelings conceptually distinct from non-dispositional emotions. A handful of influential researchers such as Lux, 2017, and Barrett, 2017, continue to identify emotions with conscious experiences. Evolutionary and socio-cultural considerations must both contribute to our understanding of a great many emotions functions. These are both intrapersonal functions for example, 
helping organisms coordinate organismic resources to deal with urgent demands, and interpersonal functions for example, communicating information useful for the negotiation of social transactions. Researchers continue to debate whether there is sufficient empirical evidence for basic emotions and other special purpose emotion mechanisms. Some see the role of evolution as limited to the shaping of general purpose adaptations, such as core effect and the ability to categorize, which jointly lead to the emergence of emotions. Emotions are no longer considered structurally opposed to reason. Researchers continue to debate the circumstances in which emotions manifest various kinds of cognitive and strategic irrationality. Emotions can be appropriate or inappropriate with respect to their intentional objects. Researchers debate the grounds of, and distinctions between, different forms of appropriateness, for example, fittingness, moral appropriateness. Emotions typically involve appraisals of the significance of the stimulus situation, ranging between primitive and sophisticated forms of information processing. Researchers debate what the structure of appraisals is, and whether appraisals cause or constitute emotions or both. Emotions typically correlate with changes in motivation to do things. Some researchers think emotions cause or consist in such changes in motivation, whereas others think that changes in motivation have other causes, or are too unspecific to ground a theory of what emotions are. The exploration of these insights and the resolution of the disagreements around them is a thriving interdisciplinary project in contemporary emotion theory. Philosophers and effective scientists will continue to engage in it for years to come, putting their distinctive theoretical skills at the service of projects of common interest.